So are you ready to see another Envy Style brand new for fall 2021? We're gonna take a look at Emma today, coming up. here in the color sparkling champagne to show you today. Emma is a long bob style cut with some beautiful natural soft waves all throughout the style. Now this is a part of the Envy Hair Collection. There's five new pieces just released for fall 2021 in this type of fiber. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip all about the Envy Hair Fiber. So what is Envy Hair? Envy Hair is a trademarked brand by Envy. It describes a blend of human hair and a heat-friendly synthetic. So in these blends, you will find 30% human hair, 70% heat-friendly synthetic. In my discussions with Envy, they describe this blend as being very durable. Uh, they have ladies that have worn these blends over two years with proper care and maintenance. They said it continues to look like new and they are daily wig wearers. So I don't have any personal experience with this fiber. Um, however, I can imagine that that human hair is really going to uh, support and add some longevity to the heat-friendly synthetics. It's also going to be a great option for you if you're looking to try a human hair piece. Human hair pieces are expensive. And yes, they are more durable than straight synthetic and they do last a little bit longer, but sometimes that investment is out of reach for so many. You do have enough human hair in this blend to really give it that human hair look and feel. In looking at this hair blend, you're gonna notice that there's absolutely no shine. The light reflects off of this as if it were completely 100% human hair. I also feel like the touch and the feel, the texture and the movement are very much like human hair. Just putting that within the realm of affordability. So if you think about it, that's actually right on par or maybe even a little less than some fully synthetic blends with similar cap features. So I'm really sold on the fact that this fiber may offer a lot of the perks of human hair with a very affordable price point. You can style this just like human hair. Now, Envy does recommend that you use a heat setting of 350 degrees or less. And the other recommendation that they have for this, if you go to heat style it or curl it especially, um, right out of the factory, there's a coating on this wig, a protective coating that protects it against static and movement during shipping. It also helps it retain its moisture and so forth. So you'll have to wash this wig if you want to get the best results out of your curling process because a lot of times these products may resist uh, styling, especially the curls. Some of the care and maintenance recommendations coming from Envy is that you would only use products on this hair blend that are formulated specifically for synthetic wigs. So your shampoos, your conditioners, anything that you're gonna put in this hair, make sure that it's safe for synthetic blends. They also recommend that you use some sort of product to protect this wig against static electricity and friction. Uh, they do recommend the Envy Renew and Repair Glosser Spray. And this is a very light formula that will help protect the ends of the wig. Now, what I prefer to use and have used for a very long time is the Simply Silent Light Silk Spray. Um, it's pure silicone and a little does go a long way, but the light formula doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't make it look greasy unless we use too much. Um, but what I do is I spray some in my hands, kind of rub it together and then scrunch it into the ends and that's quite enough to get some really nice protection on the wigs. And I do find that by using uh, these products that it will extend the life of the wig style. This hair is just remarkably luxurious, starting with that fiber. It's super soft. Just wanna curl up in it. The blend is beautiful. It uh, reflects light in a way that it's not shiny at all. Let's talk about this color really quickly, the sparkling champagne, before I forget and move on without discussing it. 
Um, I love this color. I have uh, had it many times on many different Envy styles. If you like colors like 12 FSC by John Renault, you're really going to love this. It's a nice rooted dimensional blonde shade. So really what it is, it starts with a dark honey blonde and then it has some light golden brown in it, especially right there at the nape. Seems to be a little bit darker. I love that. I think it gives it some nice realistic dimension. And then it's heavily highlighted with a very, very pale gold blonde. Overall, I would call this kind of a neutral color. And then it has a medium brown root, which you can see transitions very nicely into the main body of the color. So I want to cover the specs and dimensions for you real quickly, and then we're gonna move on to the unboxing of this style. I did a separate clip of that before. Uh, right in the front, right around 13, 13 and a half inches, it's pretty much the same length all the way around on this lob, long bob style. Very minimal layering elsewhere. It weighs about four and a half ounces, and it features a lace front and left monofilament side part. I want to get up close on that lace front for you. I think the lace front is well done in terms of the knotting being fine. However, I do notice some variation in the thickness of the knots as it runs along that lace. But it is very fine. Now this is a welded lace front by Envy and it's completely hand tied also back through that monofilament part. And this welded lace seems to be a little thicker and more hardy and durable than, um, than some thinner, more finer lace fronts. It feels just a little bit rough to the texture, but nothing bothersome. It's going to serve uh, this style well as we start to bring it away from the face. So now I'm gonna put up a clip of the unboxing of Emma by Envy. The first thing you're gonna see when you open the box lid is an Envy hair care cart talks about the recommendations for working with your Envy hair product and how to care and maintain it to make it look its best and keep it looking that way. And then inside all of the typical packaging. So you'll see, um, you'll see a net. You've got some tissue paper to help it hold its shape and form. So removing the net and the tissue paper then. The tag is accurate. So there is a heavy weave pattern on this part, which is very typical. So we'll wanna work on that. I'm all already noticing that it's a very nice light density um, and a nice fine, baby fine, soft fiber. So I'm just gonna turn it upside down, give it lots of shakes. I'm gonna use my hands to pull the fiber away from the cap gently just to sort of unleash the natural movement of these fibers. And then I'll go with my fingers, I'll go about working on that part a little bit, just to make sure that the, it's not stuck to the cap and that I can work with it more easily. And then when you apply it and part it along that monofilament part, you're gonna see that these sides just kind of wanna flop in the face. That's pretty typical. Um, they're 13 and a half inch sides. But once you wake up this fiber and you start working on the part to manage it, it's going to look a whole lot better for you. So that was the unboxing and the only thing that I have done since is apply it. I made a slight adjustment to the cap and um, I moved the part a little bit, bit closer to center than it was. It gave me a more flattering look around the front and it's also more practical. There's very little if any permatease. There might be a little bit of permatease here, just enough to cover the wefting. Um, what, I, what I did notice was that there is a, a very tight a wefting pattern on this cap. There's a lot of wefts. And so without using a lot of permatease to cover them up, it gives a nice fine look, 
a very nice low profile off of the crown. It's very smooth. So they really have done this well. Um, there's a little more permatease in the back of the nape, but nothing heavy. So the bottom line, I think you're really going to love this style if you like, uh, like a, a long bob style cut with some shattered texture, some softer natural wave around the face. If you enjoy some lace features and low permatease with lower density. Um, now this is very flat on top, so you have to like uh, something that's very flat on top and smooth until you get to this. So. Temple to temple lace front seams are nicely, really nicely obscured there. Nice deep lace front. This is the welded lace. It's a bit scratchy and thick, uh, but the grid is nice and fine as well as the knotting. And that moves back into a side part there on the left. A little bit of rose lace on the side. A closed velvet ear tab. Sturdy stays. An extended felted nape with velcro style adjusters lots of wefting on this style lots of stretch however i do feel like this is exactly average right out of the box i only had to make a small adjustment to accommodate a petite average circumference for styling i'm just going to manipulate this hair you can so you can get a sense of the texture the density the movement um, because you're going to be able to really have a lot of versatility and options when it comes to styling this piece. Let's try with glasses. Glasses fit wonderfully between the ear and the ear tab. It's very comfortable yet secure. This is a glasses friendly style for sure.